I mean, labels approached me last year. I got a low key bidding war on me right now. So, would I approach it? Yeah, if it was right. We got, we got, a, we got, a, we got propositions. I'm also very ha content with being independent. You know, at the same time, it's all about what you want to do. I think. I don't think there is a wrong way of doing it or the right way. It's just like if you're trying to get to this by this, you may not be able to do this just as an independent artist. But if you don't care about that, then you know, it's all what you want to do. Yeah. That's a good question because I know there's a lot of up and coming uh, musicians out there who are like, what do I got to do? And sometimes they get offered something and they're like, nah, I'm going to hold off. I'm bigger than this. I'm, I'm going to wait till the pub advanced, right? And all that. And I was one of those people, you know? The pub situation I got was based off Ballroom Riots, which was my first EP. It had nothing to do with placements or anything. And I was still like, you know, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. But honestly, if it wasn't for me taking that pub deal, I wouldn't have, this wouldn't be happening right now. None of this. Because one, it got me living in L.A. on my own. It got me meeting a lot of people within the industry. And the, the reason why that was important was because they were talented producers, songwriters, artists. And you got to be around talented people to kind of understand how they got to where they're at on a skill level, not even on a business level. So I learned a lot from that. I also met my manager now, who at the time was an intern for a music studio I was working out of. And he's like my partner now in Gazi. So it's like, I gotta say like, to all those kids like coming up, if the opportunity's there and it's gonna take you out your place, get you closer to the people you need to be, look at that as the What's most important, not the money. The money's gonna come. That, it was, yeah, it was important. Yeah, 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 yeah. From Harlem to Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've been moving around a lot since I was a kid. So for, for me, I've never felt attached to anything. Like right now, as much as I love L.A., I'm not attached to L.A. I can move to Paris next month and like I'd be cool with that. So one, you can't be afraid to move. If you leave, if you scared of leaving somewhere because you're comfortable, then like that might hold you down in the long run. Feel me? Um. I knew LA was the place to go for me because my skills were in making songs and I know the biggest hits were being made in LA. So I had to go there some way or another. And you know, lucky enough for me, I don't even say luck. I think when I think when you're doing everything you can to get what you want, it's gonna happen, it's gonna come and you just gotta take it. So it took me there. Some what? Um, some artists I would want to work with in the future. You mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm a fan of a lot of people. All the way from, like, indie artists like uh, Dope Lemon. Um, I know Crystal Castles ain't together anymore, but Crystal Castles. Uh, Javinsky. Um, and I love a lot of, like, you know, bigger mainstream artists like I'm a big fan of Rihanna, I'm a fan of Drake, I'm a fan of Ed Sheeran, I'm a fan of The Weeknd. So like, I work with any, anyone that's good at music, I'm willing to make good music. Okay, definitely. So yeah. uh, speaking on that, how important do you think collaborations are for furthering your career or anybody's career at that? You know, that's a good question. Collaborations can make you skip steps, I think, in terms of clout. If I make a song with so-and-so, it's like, oh shit, he, he damn near their level. Um, for me, 
everyone is different. For me, I don't really look at collaborations as a thing that I need to do to get a top. I just think I gotta keep making good songs, undeniable songs, and just focus on that. But anytime a collaboration um, comes to me that is just super organic, and the other person is super talented, you know, it's, it's gonna go down. Okay, definitely. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the tour life. This is second day on the tour. Um, how do you like the tour so far? And what are some things that your Dallas fans can expect from that? Um, so second day of the tour. First day was amazing. Sold out. Super crowded. We had people outside the space trying to look at It's probably going to happen tonight, too. Uh, but it was a lot bigger than this. Uh, the merch almost ran out. Another surprise. I think what surprised me the most was the kind of energy in the room. Like, I've been a lot of like shows where like, you know, the trap drums is playing and there's a lot of ego in the room as well. But there, there was no ego in the room. And like everyone was very like loving with each other. Um, and I think, you know, I, what I bring on stage too is like a very positive vibe, you know? So I feel like the tour has been unveiling to me what my role is within the universe within music you know and it ha that has nothing to do with charts or clout and dallas my first time in dallas so usually when i do my first show in any city it's usually one of the best so i'm, ho I'm hoping that's the case tonight okay, definitely. so aside from all the music that all your fans love what's something else that people might not know about you that no way related to music. A fun fact. A fun fact. Oh man. Oh man. Fun fact. Yo, fun Sam. Fact. They want a fun fact for me that people don't think they would ever know. A fun fact? Yeah. He's a comedian, bro. He's an actual stand-up motherfucking comedian. A, I'm a comedian. That is a fun fact. <laughs> He, oh shit! What is what is it in English? Uh, um, he can like whistle. He can Im imitate people. I can imitate. Oh, he can impersonate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, he can impersonate people. <laughs> can you get a quick um. <laughs> quick no, 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 chill, chill, chill. <laughs> no, we're not doing that here. But yeah, yeah. I think I'm a comedian. I'm a little bit of a comedian. I got. I keep. I keep the. I keep the bus rowdy. I gotta keep them. You know, keep them on their feet. Keep them happy. So. Um, man, I'm a surprising dude, I'll say that. Okay. Don't know what to expect from me. I know I seem very chill sometimes. Lay back. Yeah, and then you see me on stage, you're like, damn, I didn't know it was like that. Turn you know? Up. Right? And then you might see me at a function or something. I didn't know it was like that, too. You know? And then you might see me at church. I'm like, damn, I didn't know it was like that. <laughs> You might see me at a parent's crib, you know? Yep. He's like, damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I guess um, one, one last surprising question, uh, maybe surprising. Um, you could date any celebrity, who would it be? Oh, got to be a celebrity, anybody, actress, singer, um, anyone in the entertainment world. It gotta, gotta be an actress. I'm going for actresses, bro. <laughs> I love the musicians, but I gotta go with the actress, bro. Definitely. I'm not even thinking, I'm thinking actresses. Okay. So, anyone with the Emmy, <laughs> with the Academy Award. Yeah. Okay. What up, everybody? This is Hey Child, and I wanna give a big shout out to 22 minus 11. Shout out Dallas. Guys,